Hey, it's Gaussmas here, and welcome back to our playthrough of Final Fantasy X. Let's go! Right, so we left off last time. We're at Besaid Beach, and we were just supposed to be heading out to... Uh, heading out to a new place to go to, like, a Blitzball tournament with Wacker and the guys. But GoPro Joe said to me that there's this, like, really beasty, powerful Aeon that you can get if you get all the treasures from all the temples. So I'm checking if I can go back to the temple. And I don't seem to be able to. He did say if all else fails, you can go back later, but it involves fighting like a really powerful boss to get there. Oh, hang on, we might be able to go this way. Yeah, so I'm gonna check and see if I can go back in the Cloister of Trials. Nope, it's <laughs> the same way. I was gonna go back and see if I could go in the Cloister of Trials to see if I can get the, um... aha, here we go. To see if I can get the treasure from the place. Right, so I went back to Bethsaid Village, or at least I tried to, and as you get close to it, Tidus just says, this isn't the way to the pier. So I can't go back, sadly. But it just means I'll have to go back later and fight an epic boss <laughs> to get back that treasure, because I really want to get all the Aeons, especially because there's something that I've never seen in this game before called Dark Aeons, which are supposed to be like super powerful. And um, they were never in the PS2 release in England. And apparently they're crazy powerful, so I'm probably going to need all the help I can get. So I don't want to miss out on a super powerful Aeon. Right, but here we are. The crew together, all even for the Blitzball tournament. And I believe Yuna and her guardians are off to visit. You know, they're coming with us, but their goal is to kind of visit another temple where she will pray. Goodbye. And then... Each temple that she prays at, she gains like a new kind of Aeon to assist her. Right, so it's from Basaid to Kilaka Port. What are you up to, Tidus? What's going on? Oh. What? <laughs> We're just randomly ravaging some stranger. Do we know that person? I don't think you need binoculars where they're that close to you. <laughs> Are you gonna give them the binoculars back? <laughs> Just going around stealing stuff off random strangers. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. First to Kilika Island. Then we change boats and head for Luca. Ah. For that though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory too, so you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. <laughs> Don't look at me. Right, off to another temple, which means another cloister of trials, which means... Word is, that summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. You don't say. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. Listening to people's conversations. Yeah, so Yuna is Lord Braska's daughter. We'll find out more about him later. Yeah, so another temple, another cloister of trials. So some more treasure that we're going to need to collect if we want to get that big mass of ale that GoPro Joe told me about. I bet this guy's not feeling talkative. Nope, <laughs> he won't say a word to me. How about you, Lulu? I don't know who you are or where you came from. I don't really know myself. If anyone can defeat Sin, the daughter of Lord Braska can. Please take good care of yourself. 
Just remember that your well-being means a lot to us. Hey, don't let it get to you. It's the same as always, yeah? Right, we just gotta have a look around the boat then. No one else wants to talk to me. Oh. Huh, you want the binoculars? Sure, why not? No way, remember what you did last time? Oh, <laughs> okay. That's nice, isn't it? Offer to, offer to let me use them, and then when I say yes, just throw it back in my Ooh, face. Those fascinating clothes you're wearing. Yeah! Hmm. Filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All me name's not Awaka. Awaka. He is the kind of travelling salesman that we will meet Don't a lot. Don't look like you got much money, either. I've no business with you. Add him away. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Awaka the 23rd, merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? <laughs> Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. Aw. Yeah, he's a traveling salesman. He gets around. We'll see him a lot. But someday, the name Awaka will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. How much? Oh, God, we haven't got much, have we? Um... Um, I'm guessing that you get something for this, but I'm not sure. I can't. It's been a long time. I can barely remember the story. Never mind. Little things like this. Let's give him a hundred. No sweat. I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly, lad. Yes, it does. Fine seed money for the Oaka Merchant Empire. Maybe he'll just give me like discounts in future or something. I'll take that. Ah, there's the Crusaders. Remember these guys from last episode? I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. I didn't ask you to. Restricted area. Our operation depends on this cargo. Oh, what cargo? Okay. They're carrying some kind of cargo for their plan to fight sin. Obtained a remedy. Nothing like just going around a boot. A boot? A boat. <laughs> Looting stuff. He seems real sick, yeah? I'm keeping over here, because I'm going to get sick too if I keep watching him. Oh, no. One of our teammates getting seasick. Oh, I got seasick. I think I'm going to hurl. Right, I'm going to leave you too, buddy. Right, okay. Back on deck. What else have we got? Can we go up, up, up here? Okay, we can do, but there's nothing, nothing to be seen. Maybe someone else wants to talk to me now. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summon of Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Ah. Uh -huh. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking. In the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, so Yuna's father defeated Sin ten years ago. I mean, if they defeated Sin, then why is he back now? But, um, is she going to do the same thing as her father and defeat him again? I love, by the way, that the little autosave feature on this uh, remaster is the little chocobo. Keep an eye out for her in the bottom right corner. Coming. Why are they laughing? No, in fact, this isn't the scene. You're a Blitzball player. That's you? later. From Zanakin, okay. right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? That was an early, an early teaser of uh, it. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. I believe you. Huh? 
I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Hmm. Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. Jack. Jack. She's the only one who believes that Zalikin exists? Or, well, still exists. My father. His name is Jekt. <gasps> Amazing! Hmm. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Mm. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man... He died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? Have you noticed she's got one the... green eye and one blue eye? <laughs> how crazy is that? Yeah, but how would he get here? <laughs> how did we get here? You're here? <laughs> Are you not? Whoa. So yeah, Yuna's father defeated Zin 10 years ago, and our father, unless there's a huge coincidence with the names, our father was his guardian, and now we're kind of already sort of taking up the role as Yuna's guardian, you know, is history repeating itself? Anyway, we are in the middle of either a big storm or probably Zin attacking or some other big sea monster. I really can't remember. <laughs> no! Go on, Kamadi. He doesn't have any messing around. Look at the size of him. Oh. That looks a bit like sin to me. I mean, how do you even think about tackling? <laughs> Something that big. With with some kind of ship crossbow, apparently. Oh, harpoon. They're gonna sacrifice themselves to try and get Sin to back away from Kilika? I mean, to be honest, I don't think one harpoon is going to do much, <laughs> so, or two. I think if he wants to go to Kilika, he's going to go to Kilika. Well, we are hitching a ride. <laughs> this seems like a really bad idea. Oh, God. Hold on to something, people. People just playing all around in the middle of the deck. Wow, look at them graphics on Tidus. Oh, we know these. We fought these when we were with Oren right at the start of the game, and they were like blocking the path. Should be able to take these down easy enough. Um, so, yeah, I think this is our... Oh no, it's our, I was going to say it's our first time using Yuna, but it's definitely our first time using Kamari. Um, we did use Yuna in the little kind of tutorial, didn't we, about how to use summons. Don't forget, we can, of course, switch team members out whenever we want. So, kind of, Yuna's mostly used for, I mean, obviously you can do different things and you can build your characters how you want to build them. But I would say that Yuna is mostly for summons and 
and bling. So I'm going to switch her out for Lulu, we'll say. And we can flick in a bit of Blizzard. See how you like some of that? I love using Lulu. She's so powerful. Bosh. One hit. Job done. Now, I can't remember if how the um, experience works in this. If it's kind of... A lot. The fin, that's where they're coming from. <laughs> they're coming from the fin. Fighting at a distance. Regular sword attacks cannot hit targets at a distance, such as fin Sin's fin. Attack these enemies using magic or whacker's blitz ball. Okay, so let's uh, do. do, do. Um, okay, we'll keep T this out because he can continue attacking the little minions, and then I will swap Kamari for whacker. So then we've got two long distance people. Come on, let me have my turn. Ouch! Oh, T just got his turn again. What up, son? Right, Kamari, you're switching Waka. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm not quite sure how. There we go. The boss, Sin. Let's attack his fin. Oh, he's immune to our little, uh, whatever we did to him. And so these two are going to carry on attacking the fin, and Titus is going to deal with the little minions. Yeah, so I can't remember how the experience works and how it's distributed. Um, I don't know if they just, every team member gets the same amount whether they join in the fight or not. Um, I'll have to keep an eye out for it, and if, if people are missing experience by not coming in, then I'll just make sure to kind of switch everyone in at least once. Uh, let's do a dark attack again on the fin. And we'll try out a different magic spell this time with Lulu, see if any one of them is kind of more powerful than the rest. You know, he might have a particular weakness. So Fire did about 230. Yeah, Thunder did about the same. Spines! Ah, that was quite painful. But not painful enough for me to think about healing yet. There we go. That's one down. Or another one down, at least. <laughs> okay, we can't do dark attack anymore, but it's fine. Just a regular attack will do the job, I'm sure. Yeah, there we go. He was immune to whatever the kind of darkness... I think darkness just reduces or increases their chance of their attacks missing. And he was immune to it anyway, so it's no biggie. Right, I'm gonna swap Tidus for Yuna, I think, and heal up Waka. Bada bing. And I love the way that. I love the fact that switching out characters doesn't. Um, kind of. doesn't use up a turn or anything. So you're free to kind of do that as much as you want. Um, okay, let's. let's stick with Waka. Keep attacking the Finn. Uh, this time we will try Blizzard. Still trying to see if uh, the Finn has got some kind of weakness. I don't think it has. Nah, they all do pretty much the same thing. Oh, what's going on? Oh, he's surfacing a bit. So I think I'll get one more healing. Oh, oh actually, no, I was going to heal Lulu, but she's actually... It seems like her energy health is low, but actually, it's not that low. Um, it's just that she's got a really low maximum HP. So I'm just going to summon, because why not? We're fighting a boss, aren't we? Let's bring out the big guns. Veil for. So we've only got one summon in our arsenal at the moment, but as we kind of progress through the game, each time we do one of those cloister trials and Yuna prays at a temple, we're going to get another... another... Uh, summon to the, uh, to the crew. Right? Let's give him a sonic wings, which should, it hurts him, but it should also, oops, I was supposed to do that on the fin. Um, it should delay his turn, apparently. Oh god. That doesn't even do as much damage as Lulu's attack, or Wacker's attack. <laughs> that was garbage. I'm going to be sending you away, Vale for if you don't pa sort it out. Um... Okay, I guess we could just use magic with him. And he might get his overdrive soon anyway. Right, let's test out some fire. Fire. Ooh, I think it's just told me his health. Did he have a hundred and something le health left? I think it did, because I think we just killed him. Boom. Um, so that's a weird little thing that I've noticed there. 
it seems like when you've got a, a an Aeon out, it tells you how much health the enemies have got. Um, but it doesn't do that when you've got your regular people out. Maybe it might be that kind of the Aeon has an ability that you can learn on the sphere grid that we haven't learnt yet. Like auto scan, I think it might be called. I've just pulled that out of the uh, <laughs> the recesses of my mind. I don't. Know. Did we did we lose a man? We lost a uh, harpoon gun. Go on, Waka. Save the day. Oh God, we lost the Tidus. And we're getting battered by a uh, sin, sin spines or whatever they're called. Back off, lads. Waka's in town. What's he doing? Oh, he's chucking, he's ch whacking a potion on him. It's funny, they never show that in games. Like, it's always like, you know, in battle you use a potion, but outside of battle, that never happens. Because otherwise, you just, you know, if a character ever died in the game, you'd just be like, well, why doesn't he use the Phoenix down? Right. Are we getting another boss here? Are we going to fight Sin again? Is this like. Sin's jellyfish bro? Or is this just a random sea monster that just happened to come along? Okay. I don't know, but let's start attacking. We can't switch to the rest of our team. We've only got Tidus and Wacker on our side. Drain touch. You missed, bro. You missed. So I we pretty much just got to rely on just doing regular attacks here. Wacker's got no magic points left to do the dark attack. Not that it would do that much, I don't think. Um, or make that much difference. Um, I think, actually, Tidus can do Chia, which increases... Which I will do, actually. It increases the hate, the strength, and defense of all your team members. So, you know, it's a pretty good thing to use in a battle, I guess. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but we'll probably soon find out. Um, let's use a potion on Tidus, because he's looking a bit wounded. His health is in the yellow. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, blender. Don't put me in a blender. Oh, God. <laughs> it's exactly, uh, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Okay. It's a good job we did heal to you just then. Wallop. I don't know if we are. Do are we doing much more damage than we were before I did Chia? I think we might be, but I'm not sure. Oh, no. Come on. Let's get some attacks in quick and just kill this jellyfish, dude. Wallop. I mean, we don't have, like, tactically, we don't have a lot of options right now. We don't have characters to switch to. We don't have summons. Don't really have any spells or any special moves. Um, you know, for this particular fight, we really don't have many options other than to just keep attacking and use the odd, the odd potion. Which I think we're going to have to after this blender. Oh, this is going to take about, yep, about 100 per man. I really should have probably used the potion earlier. I've I've let myself get lower than I should have. But it's okay, it's okay. One potion each, and we are back fighting fit, sort of. <laughs> Almost. Ouch. To be honest, I think Waka might need another potion. Wallop. How much health has this guy got? Drain touch. Ouch. Oh god, I mean, we're quite low on potions. This is... Well, we're lower than I'd like to be. <laughs> um, okay, just use another one. It's no harm done. I'm sure we'll get to... This, this fight will be over soon, and then we'll get to a shop at some point and we'll buy some potions, and it all will be well. He is going to die soon, isn't he? I mean, Tidus is going to get his overdrive soon, and I'm sure it can't be long until Waka gets his. Oh! Was that the sound effect of him dying? I think it was. Boom! I was going to say, if not, we were about to unleash a couple of overdrives on him anyway. Or well, we would have soon. 
What was that? Was that like a piece of sin? Hey, okay, well there's the, there's the, oh, hang on. I was going to say there's the evidence that um, sphere levels are distributed across everyone, even if you're not in the fight, because everyone got experience there, but they were probably getting experience from when we were fighting on the boat as well. So I'm still not sure. Either way, we've dealt with the threat for now. Oh, no, we haven't. Did you see that wave? Oh, man. Killika Island is not gonna like this. I mean, it's just a few huts. It ain't surviving this. Whoa. So much for trying to hold off Sin. Whoa. Oh, my God. Look at the size of him. He is a beast. And are they little minions that he's just flicking down at the village? I think they are. God. Brutal. We're supposed to be stopping off here to get a boat to Luca. I don't think <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be a boat left. There's a blitz ball. Look at that water, by the way. Stunning. When Sin attacked Xanarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. <laughs> I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. So where are we? Maybe it was that day on the sea. Under the burning sun, I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. Hmm. Yep, let's get used to it, man. Right, so it looks like we're having a little detour. Killaka Oh, hang on. Are we not? No, we are still going to Killaka Port. Is there anything left of it? I guess we'll soon find out. Greetings. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Besaid. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, thanks be to you. <laughs> Our loved ones, we feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. So I'm not sure I've remembered this exactly well, because this is going off pure memory, but I think... Um, when, when kind of people die... They, okay. We'll go see what we can do to help in town. Huh? When people die, I think they need to be like sent sent on to like the afterlife by a summoner. Otherwise they become fiends, like monsters. So I think that's what Yuna's gonna do now. All the kind of people who died in the disaster, she's gonna send them on. Hey, you're alive. Wait. What do you want? We're not open. Oh, sorry. Take it that used to be a shop. Can we help anyone? Titus, watch your step. It's not safe this way. Okay, fair enough. Pub's closed. I don't think I can get through this without a drink. Right, okay, anyone else need some help? Oh, look at that sunset. What's ascending? Are we going somewhere? <laughs> <sighs> you truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? She's so nice, Lulu. The dead need guidance. F 
filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The sending takes them to the far plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm. There you go. Lulu explained it better than I could. Yeah, it's all about making sure that the, um, you know, the dead rest in peace. Wow, she can walk on water. Skills. Still, I can't, I can't, I don't know, it's been too long since I've played the fact that the PS2 version to know how big of a difference is, but I can't, can't get over how great some of these cutscenes look. It might be the HD remaster being fantastic, or it might just be that the graphics were fantastic at the time. It's probably a bit of both. must be tough, being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way, until the end. Until the end? What's the end? Well, the destruction of sin, presumably. Until she defeats Sin. Keep up, Titus. Oh. <laughs> I hope... I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. Hmm. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time. Mm -hmm. uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow, horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. I always thought it was strange that, um, Lulu's kind of like a mentor and a teacher to, uh, to Yuna, even though Yuna has this kind of, clearly this unique ability that no one else does. Or, or very few people do, so... Right, let's go to the shop. Did you rest well? The others left some time ago. Did they? Okay, this is not the shop. Have you got a shop set up? 
because I used all my potions <laughs> in my last level fight and I would really like to buy some. Hey, you awake? Captain Walker's waiting for you. Right. Wait, what for? What are we doing? Whoa! Whee! Good job we went and saved it there, wasn't it? I don't think I ever spotted that the first time I played the game. There you go, little dude. Right, let's go find Waka. Here we go. What's up, my man? Be on to the temple, where we pray for victory. Go! High Summoner O'Hallan used to live in the Kilika Temple here. Yep, Lord O'Hallan was once a great blitzer, you know. <laughs> Waka. Hmm? Praying for victory is so good. Ugh, but is this right? Something wrong with enjoying Blitzball? Is this really the time? This is the only time. <laughs> The players fight with all their strength. The fans cheer for their favorite team. They forget pain, suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Blitz has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. Whatever you say. Let's play and win, right? Right. Temple's beyond the jungle there. Let's go. Yeah, you know, sometimes you need something like that to kind of... <laughs> Take you away from the reality of real life. Right, off to the temple. Right, so I've just saved it and we're gonna leave it there for today. So we've had yet another encounter with Sin, and this time we gave him what for, although he did destroy most of Killiger Island. Next time we are gonna do our second cloister of trials and get another summon under our belt. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Right, uh, 